Sixth grade, module four, lesson 11, problem set. Use models to prove that 3a plus b is equivalent to 3a plus 3b. Okay, so let's start with 3a plus b. I'm gonna do it down here. So if we have 3a plus b, we have three groups of A plus B. So I'm gonna draw a big tape diagram and I'll do A and B. And then, so there's one group of A plus B. And then another group of A, I'll make B a little bit bigger just to make them different. Another group, and then we have a last group of A plus B. So there's three times a plus b. If we wanted to show 3a plus 3b, I would draw something kind of like this. So I would have three a's. So there's three a's and then three b's. So they're equivalent. There's the same amount of a's here as there are here. But there's also the same amount of Bs, three Bs. So they're equivalent, they're just written a different way. Number two, use greatest common factor in the distributive property to write equivalent expressions in factored form for the following expressions. 4D plus 12E. Okay, they have different variables, so we're gonna have to factor out four and 12. So four and 12 have a common factor of four. So I'm going to factor out 4, and if I factor out 4, 4d divided by 4 is just d, so we have basically 1d plus 12e, but I need to divide 12e by 4, so we get 3e. So 4 times d plus 3e. The next one, 18x plus 30y. We need to find a common factor of 18 and 30. I think their greatest common factor would be six. So I'm gonna factor out six. 18 divided by six is three X plus 30 divided by six would be five Y. So six times three X plus five Y. C, 21A plus 28 Y. So 21 and 28, their greatest common factor would be seven. 21 divided by 7 would be 3a plus 28y divided by 7 would be 4y. So we have 7 times 3a plus 4y. And the last one, 24f plus 56g. We need to find a common factor of 24 and 56. I think it would be 8. Let's try 8. So 8. 24f divided by 8 would be 3f, plus 56g divided by 8 would be 7g. So 8 times 3f plus 7g.